got for us, Andy? Um, I did have a topic, but I kind of forgot to look for the videos that associated with it. <laughs> so I don't really have a topic. All <laughs> right. Well, how you, well, okay, I got I got one for you. How how you uh, I have a question for you actually. So you're going out with friends tonight, right? From your from class. Yeah. What are you guys gonna go do? You gonna do, just hanging out, doing fun times? Yeah, I'm probably I don't know. Just like get the pizza or something. Nice. Get pizza? Just hang out. Just hang out. Nice. Yeah. These, nice. These, these cool people. Pizza. Yeah. yeah. Andy's we, never invited me. Yeah. To pizza. How can we never get pizza <laughs> with you, Andy? Andy. I, I, I don't, I Every don't time we hang out, you just eat Cheerios. Mm. Yeah. All right. Hold on. I actually have a quick question about the Cheerios thing. Like, okay. Why? <laughs> hold on. No, hold on. Hold, okay. <laughs> it's actually not so much why. It's like, do, like when? Do you? How wow. much do you like? Really like Cheerios <laughs> versus it's just convenience. Like if there was something that was like. No, it's a good ratio. Really? Yeah. Like, you really like Cheerios, but and it's also just super cheap? Yeah. Because, like, I can't imagine myself eating something like that. Like, if I, if I, and not, I can't imagine myself eating something for that long and not starting to hate it. Yeah, like, I love cereal, but I have to switch it up. I yeah. Know. If I, I had Cinnamon Toast soup. Crunch for mm. weeks, I'd probably be okay. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think I'd be fine. <laughs> you have no, Cinnamon you Toast Crunch? You gotta switch, you gotta switch in the blueberry days. toast one sometimes. Those are pretty good. Blue, what? Blueberry's so good. I've never even heard of that. Like put blueberry in it, too. Mm, that sounds delicious. Good. But, no, I mean, I switch up the cereals every once in a while, but I always do go back to Cheerios. What do you? Well, he well, switched it to Frosted Mini Wheats till we told him how bad for him that was. Yeah, until I realized that's why I wasn't losing weight. <laughs> 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 well, what do you expect? It's just sugar-coated carbs. Yeah, but it was, it's that's still what it is. I know. He's just eating less of it now. Yeah. Oh, I know, but like, it, those ones aren't like. like all I did. You was, can't see the sugar on the Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> all I did was change one can. thing it's in my shiny. diet, and, and he, I lost he, like ten pounds. He halved his daily calories. <laughs> yeah. Just by switching which cereal he eats. Yeah, it was a good move. Why do you only eat cereal? I like cereal. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> I like cinnamon rolls too. I, like <laughs> <cereal. Yeah. laughs> I have to oh, mix then, it up. But then I like switch it to like Frosted Flakes or like Golden Grahams. No, you don't. <laughs> I I've never, never seen that here. Yeah, I haven't. I, no, I saw I saw Frosted, Frosted Flakes, flakes once. You did? I yeah. Golden it was either, like right? it's like a year and a half ago, but I saw them. <laughs> well, you I've never eat seen it like before. three meals a day, like not yeah. cereal. No, it's every morning he has a bowl. He eats some dinner at like seven. It's usually like some leftover like Panda Express or something. Or a burrito. And then every single night at ten p.m. And he rolls out with South Park on his little iPod, and he sits there like this and eats his cereal until the episode's done. Then he, he might, then he might, then he might refill it, and then he like goes back to bed. Oh. Every I night. Like, I feel like for the past couple months I've done that less though. I'm usually in bed by that point, yeah. so. But I like, know. no, I I actually kind of admire like the your ability to do that because I would yeah. lose my goddamn mind. I'd be like, I I like, cause okay, cause right now like. I'm almost out of food, but we're moving soon, so I don't want to buy more stuff. And I'm already like, I'm, I can't eat this anymore. Like, I need to go get something else. <laughs> like, I can't do it anymore, otherwise I'll kill myself. I mean, we, I used to have a Top Ramen a bunch when we first moved in. Really? I can't eat that anymore. Yeah, really? I bought, like, one of those big Costco things, and, like, I think I only made it through, like, half or, like, three-fourths of it. And I was like, yeah, I'm done with this. I don't remember that. Oh, that's when yeah. you eat them dry, too. Huh. You have two. But see, with Top Ramen, though, you can, like... You can change it up. You can add stuff. to That's what I do. I add like vegetables and like yeah. meat to We've top ramen. Been, like the smart thing to do. Yeah, but like you can't. And Andy just gave up. You can't yeah. really add things to Cheerios besides like maybe milk or other cereals. You know I, what I, I mean? Think the worst thing is Andy just switched from carbs and salt to carbs and sugar. Like he didn't add anything new to his diet. He just swapped out a lot of salt for a lot of sugar now. <laughs> but like. Eat some meat, Andy. <laughs> I do when I eat, eat lunch and dinner. Fruit. Yeah, lunch and dinner. You're only supposed to have meat like once a day. I know, I mean. but I don't see him eat that. <laughs> he, he hides. Actually, I don't even think it's once a day. What? Isn't it like once a week or something? Like it's. I don't know. Is there like okay? What's the most like <clears throat> red meat? At least only like oh, once yeah. a day. Like what's the most yeah like shameful thing you guys have like eaten? Like I'll give an example. So like when I was younger, like. It, this is back when, like, McDonald's would have their fucking bucket of french fries, mm. right? There was a couple times where, like, I got a bucket of french fries just for myself. It was just kind of like... <laughs> and, like, finish the bucket. Yeah. Like, and that's probably, like, one of the more, like, just... Whenever I think back to it, I'm like, well, that's wrong with me. <laughs> I'm just, like, a gross man. Like, what's... Do any of you have anything like that? Where you just yeah. look back on it and you're like, why? Um, 
we would eat pizza a lot like when it was just our dad watching us mm -hmm. and i i loved having ranch on it and mm -hmm. then i like ah oh, ranch is probably good on everything <laughs> and then back then all i knew how to cook was grilled cheeses oh man it doesn't so, sound like that'd be bad though. i know it tastes good yeah but, but like i just under, i understand like the visual of yeah, this yeah i was making grilled cheeses and then we would put like sometimes i would dip the dip it in ranch or i would like melt the cheese onto the ranch oh wow and, what what yeah. Yeah, like you'd, you'd put it in there and then grill it. Oh, I see. Okay. I eat croutons and ranch as a snack. I have no shame in that. Though. <laughs> I just buy a bag of croutons and ranch. Yeah. I don't go for that. So, like, I would make that and eat that when I was, like, home alone. Uh -huh. And then one time I did it while he was home on the weekend. And mm -hmm. he's like, don't, you can't eat that. Like, that is so bad. <laughs> as your father, I can't <laughs> let this continue. Wow. You see, like, that, that sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, it, it was good. Because, like. Well, okay, I don't really like ranch that much, but like, mm -hmm. like Hidden Valley, I don't not really afford. But like, I've had some good ranches recently. Yeah. But like, oh, there was one time. There's my uh, girlfriend's friend, uh, Alana. She like stop saying her name. That's okay. We have to bleep it now. No, this is fine. This isn't bad. Okay. Like, she. Oh well, now she knows we bleeped her all those other times. Well, no. <laughs> Probably knows anyway, doesn't she? She, she, like, she doesn't listen. She doesn't listen to this show. When all these stories add up, it's like I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, we were in uh, In and Out one time, and she like her thing is like she loves ketchup. Like, that's weird. Really likes ketchup, right? And coming as, from the guy who loves ranch, that's weird. <laughs> and we were hanging out in In and Out, and like she got you know how like the the ketchup little like paper cups there's like the regular size one there's like a bigger one that you yeah. can get like she filled a bigger one like to the top right and it was there and she was just saying like how, she was talking about how much she loves ketchup and like how she puts it on like the, you know she puts it on like her eggs in the morning which is just crazy to me and i know but i i think that's weird like that's just that's gross to me and she was like i could probably like just just drink that ketchup right there and i was like really you could you no. drink that ketchup right there and she was like, no. yeah. And I was like, all right. Time to nut up or shut up. Five dollars. Right now. It goes in your face. <laughs> Did she, like, dilute it at all? Or no. Just... Ketchup. Just the swirly top, like, ketchup. Right? And she just takes it. And without no hesitation, just like, and just knocks the whole thing back. Uh. Right? And I'm like, ah! Oh, God, that's disgusting. Like, I straight almost vomited there. And she's like, pay up. And I'm like, Fine, like you, sure, you earned that. And I, I gave her five bucks, and it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. See, I was looking for something to show you, and it was like really convenient timing. Oh, good. I saw the picture of it, and I gagged at the exact same time you said she like chugged the ketchup. Uh huh. What? So I, it, it works. I, I gagged at both, but oh, okay. um, you broke the illusion, Brayden. I was on the. I discovered the shitty food porn subreddit a couple what? days ago, and it's like. You know what food porn is, right? Yeah, of like course. really fancy pictures of food stuff or like oh. fancy foods. Yes. I know, okay. that. I, I know that too. Yeah. Oh, I thought, I thought you like, meant like the ones with like it's the Asian girls eating no, like no, huge no, tubs no, of ramen. No, no, no. That's that's weird. <laughs> but the shitty one is it's either really shitty foods okay. shot in food porn style. Oh, I see. So it's like beautiful photography of like cut up like dinosaur chicken nuggets with like <laughs> ketchup swirled on top. Okay. Or shitty food. Oh. Which this one is a <laughs> layered bologna cake with uh, mayonnaise and mustard ice. I don't want to see it. I don't want it. Oh, oh. Dude, that. It's impressive. That's though. like. It's, it's, uh, I mean, just looking at it, like, makes me sick. I try it. What did they. No. You would, really? You would try that. What did they mix Andy. the mustard and stuff with? I. Oh, there's mustard on it? Never mind. Because the mustard. mayonnaise would be, like, falling off the sides. Like, it's You're a weird man, good. Andy. You spread like it mustard. on. You could... Just imagine the, like, <laughs> sound as you're cutting yeah. through that. Because, look, they already took a piece out of it. St uh, stop like showing me that. that was like a fifth Who decided cake? to make it? I don't know. I don't it's like, know. weird. It, looking at it, it's, like, fine until you remember that that's mayonnaise and mustard. It's... Like, it looks like a regular cake, like the like frosting I, does. I, I have the weirdest, like, sense of unease <laughs> as I look at this picture right now. Like, because uh, I don't like deviled eggs. Oh, yeah. And, like, kind of what it looks like. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm getting too, like, 
like two images of things I don't like, mm-hmm. like deviled eggs, like reminisce, and then just that, and it's just combining in my mind to form an even worse beast. <laughs> Ugh, it's fucking disgusting. Yeah, let's make one. Ugh, <laughs> no, I don't want. No, I won't be anywhere. Andy near said that. he'd try it. No, it has mustard on it. Well, we won't put the mustard on your piece. All right. So you would, you're telling me that you you would eat like just layers of bologna yeah, and mayo. Eight layers. Of bologna held together by mayonnaise. Yeah, if it was good. more bologna than mayo, I'd probably take a bite and it would be fine. <laughs> that, but if it was like uh, twice as much at mayo. It's just meat and mayo. That's it. Yeah, but like there's just so much of it though. I'm not going to say I'm going to have like this whole huge slice. Like I'll take like a fork and go, all right, I'll try it. Oh, God. Think you're if a it weird man. didn't look like it was in cake form, mm-hmm. it have wouldn't never, look that bad. Have you if never had a bologna, bologna sandwich and... with mayo on it? Yeah, but I haven't eaten. Eight slices of bologna at once. Oh, I've done Covered that. in mayonnaise. Is it really just eight slices of bologna? That's probably a really tiny cake. If it's, <laughs> they're not big. They're like <laughs> that big, maybe. It was forced perspective is what it was. Yeah. Made it look a lot bigger than it really was. They used uh, Donald Trump's baby hands to <laughs> scale <laughs> to make it seem bigger. There was one time, uh, I, th- I think this was at a buffet, but I accidentally ate like a huge spoonful of horseradish. Ooh. Cause like I, I thought, it, accidentally do well, I thought it was mashed potatoes. Oh, cause like we were going, uh, I think it was look similar. I think what? Well, like it was the, horseradish is like mayo looking. Well, like it was like it's hard to explain, but it, it wasn't like super like runny horseradish. It was like it was held together nicely. It was like kind of it was fluffy looking. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like I mean, and I didn't. I got like steak, whatever. I forget some, whatever horseradish steak uh, goes with. But I, I think I was I was like in Vegas, and I think I was like maybe. I don't know, like under 10 years old. And I got like my steak and I was like, oh, cool mashed potatoes. So I like got like a spoonful and like plopped it on there. And then like I was going, and I was like eating my food. And I'm like, oh, I had some mashed potatoes. I think I put like butter in it too. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool. And like, hump. And I'm like, of course. The cartoon steam <laughs> shot out of my ears. It was bad. It was not fun. Horseradish is supposed to be kind of like wasabi, right? Yeah, yeah kind of. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's it is wasabi. Your very... wasabi is made of horseradish, oh, it right? Is it really? I, I don't so, know. Yeah. I just assume that the, the, the two like fiery dragon <laughs> brothers yeah. from different countries. Yeah, I think it's made from horseradish. I wouldn't be surprised. It has the same effect. Yeah. Wasabi is okay. more like concentrated. Uh, mm-hmm. in, in high school, um, my friends and I convinced my friend's girlfriend to eat like a huge <laughs> wob of wasabi because oh. you are can... not a nice person i know li- let me tell the story <laughs> let me tell the story so we were in high school and like sometimes they uh for lunch they'd give out like these little sushi like trays right as mm. uh, at the food carts and they came with wasabi and ginger and my friend paul is like just he can just tank spicy stuff right like he's no problem and so um my friend's girlfriend, Aaron, didn't know what uh, wasabi was. And uh, they're like, oh, you want to like, try some? She's like, what is it? And then, like, Paul, I think it was, I forget who, if it was either Paul or Gary, one of those two, they were like, oh, it's actually, it's a, like, a sweet, like, paste that kind of counter, like, deal with the saltiness of, like, the fish you're having. And she's like, really? He's like, yeah, watch. And it takes, like, a little, like, chopsticks and, like, clips off a little bit. And he goes, how? And like, yeah, see, it's not bad. And, you know, no visible expression. <laughs> and she goes, because he's dead inside. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, oh, okay. And so she, like, gets, like, a, a good wad of it, right? And then, like, there's just that, there's the conflicting sides in me of, like, I should stop this, <laughs> but I want to see what happens. And so she goes, help, right? And then, like, she does the thing where, like, we can see where, like, she kind of sloshes it with, the, with, like, her tongue. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then just the look of sheer panic and terror just washes <laughs> over her face. She's like, oh, oh God, what's happening? What's going on? And then we're obviously laughing our asses off. And then she runs into the bathroom and like just like to the drinking fountain and is like washing her mouth out. And we're like, oh, we're bad people. We're bad people. But that was really funny. You're terrible. I know, but it was funny. It was funny. Do you have any shameful or food stories, Tristan? Not really. I'm not ashamed of anything. Like, what, <laughs> okay, well, what, then, now, what are you, what are you proud of? A lot. Yeah. yeah, actually, it's pretty good. I'll go to Trader Joe's. They have a bacon ends in pieces thing. It's just like what? pieces oh, that don't look as nice. Oh, oh. Okay. Thing, though. I see. So I get a whole thing of that. It's like a maybe like half this box size. Just eat like it a raw. Whole, it's like a brick of bacon. Okay. And I'll like get that cooking all of it, and mm-hmm. when that's done, I'll add milk and flour, and it makes it Ooh, gravy. Yeah, thicken it up. Yeah. That's and I add like salt, pepper, and stuff, and yeah. then I'll like 
broil sourdough bread, oh. and I'll just put it on top, and I will go through a whole entire thing of bacon and gravy in a day. <laughs> that sounds not even a day; it's like a meal. That but sounds amazing. It is amazing. By the way, I probably death before you. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, but it's all, eat, you said you use the words brick of bacon. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do it like once a week. Wow, and just sit hey. there without a shirt on and I watch <laughs> watch Netflix and eat it. <laughs> You, I'm, I can't help but I mean, you just imagine like you're eating it, but it just dribbles all over your chest, and you just don't even try to lick it up. Like, <laughs> getting other pieces of bread and wiping it off. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Okay, so this lives. This Uh-oh. is like my favorite story Uh-oh. of my friend John, or one of my favorite stories. So this is back in high school again. Like they always, apart from sushi, they served like slices of pizza, right? Yeah. And my friend John had like this huge beard. He still has a huge beard, right? And we're eating lunch in just at our little spot. And we're standing there, and I'm watching John eat his pizza. And, like, he gets down to the crust, right? And just so no pizza is left. And, like, you know, as you're eating pizza, you get, like, some, some sauce on the side of your lips here. But he had, like, a good amount because he had a beard, right? So it was kind of catching the hairs. And he didn't, he didn't see me watch him do this. But, like, so I got to see, like, the full, like, thought process of, like, hmm, what am I do here? Okay. And then it, the gears turned and I saw that from start to finish. He takes the, the crust, right? He looks at it, kind of, and then opens it up a little bit and, like, tears it in half. And then wipes the side of his cheeks with the crust and then eats it, right? <laughs> and he does that with both sides. And, just how, and he doesn't think anybody's watching him, right? So that was a genuine thought that John had. It wasn't to get a reaction from me or anybody. That was just something he thought was a good idea and wanted to do genuinely. And I lost my mind. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. And he, like, he, he looked over at me and he's like knew that I saw him do it. And he kind of uh. like... What do you want, Matt? What do you want? What do you want from me? <laughs> and to this day, still, he like he'll still do that to me. He'll look over and be like, hey, Matt, and just kind of wipe his cheeks <laughs> and then eat whatever food he's having. I'm like, God, John, stop! <laughs> it's disgusting. Oh, it's so good. Good. Dead well, air. Yeah, dead good. air. Yep. All right. Good talk. Good talk, you guys. I yeah. Ate, so I ate a pound and a half of sour patch kids one time. Oh. Those big bags you can get. Yeah. Yeah, I ate that in a sitting. <laughs> Why? I guess that would be. A how are you alive? <laughs> I, that's how I eat all the time. Weed. Okay, what I do? This is my meals for the week. So we have pot stickers. I get going. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Which isn't bad. Yeah, those are fine. And then I'll do that bacon brick. <laughs> yeah. Thing. I take spaghetti. I take a whole. It's like a sausage thing. They sell at Safeway Bonds here. Mm-hmm. And it's like a whole sausage. And I put it in. I mix it with the sauce to the point where it's like more meat than sauce. Good. And then okay. I'll pour the cooked spaghetti on that, and I'll eat the whole thing. Delicious meal. I'll take macaroni, mix it with a thing of chili. Ooh, don't add some cheese to that. I'll eat that too. This is a, in a week. This is like a week. These are my yeah, weekly meals. Is... I do the same thing every week, pretty much. How are you not dead? I don't know. How are you alive? You. I have a system, and it works. Has your have your arteries like fully calcified at this point? Probably. I don't. I think I'm pretty healthy. Probably not. <laughs> like on the inside, but um, I do cauliflower tacos, which are pretty good. Those are healthy. Oh, so counterbalance. I see. Oh, I see what healthier. I see what you're going for. Yeah. Counterbalance. Well, I have to do the vegan thing sometimes. And I dunk it in the butter trough. <laughs> then, you, then you deep fry it in a cheese wrapping to hold the cauliflower together. <laughs> what else do I do? I'm having. There was one time because um, my other friend Gary works at a Domino's and he. Oh God. He made this pizza one time, but it wasn't. I I lovingly call this the Domino's pasta bread bucket. Because the term is bowl, but this was this was not a bowl, mm-hmm. sir. He got the bread, like the bread bowl, and like hollowed it out as you normally do. But he basically made the bottom layer of this bowl a pizza because he oh. he like layered down sauce, the cheese, and then pepperoni on that, right, and like some other, other other condiments. And then he filled it with like you know the pasta, yeah. right? And then he put like a bunch of other toppings on top of the pasta, right? So it was just like. Normally you get it and it's like a bowl and then like it, it caps off at the top, right? This was a curved <laughs> mountain bread bowl that he had to pass through like three times in the oven and it still didn't cook all the way through. <laughs> but like it cooked enough to where the cheese was melted, but like, you know, it was still like, it wasn't crispy on the inside and yeah. it, it, it was, it was a monster. He, he did the same thing for a pizza that he got for us one time. He went in there and he made it and I was talking to his coworkers and distracting them because he would have had to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Did the same thing. We got a regular pizza, curved amount of toppings <laughs> and cheese, passed it through the oven twice, still didn't like cook all the <laughs> way through. It was delicious. 
That's so much pizza, though. That's yeah. more topping than pizza. Yeah, it was know. great. You can make a pizza at Trader Joe's for four dollars. How? What? Where, where do you make a pizza? At <laughs> you Trader don't Joe's? make it there, but oh. you get the ingredients, <laughs> okay. and it's four dollars to make a whole pizza. Really? Dang. Yeah. What do you get? So you get you a, buy the pizza. You, they sell bags. <laughs> it's four dollars. They sell bags of dough, uh-huh. and those are a dollar each. Okay. And you can make like two pizzas with a bag. And then a bag of cheese is like six dollars or something. And you sauce. Said, you said four dollars. Um, let me explain. Let me oh, okay. And it. then sauce is only a dollar. So that's how much is that eight dollars total. Okay. Yeah. And then two like pizzas. I said, you can make two pizzas. Oh, I see. With okay. A thing of dough. So okay. it's four dollars each. If you mm. want to get a little more expensive, you can buy pepperoni for like four or five dollars. <laughs> Not made of money. I've done that a yeah. lot too. <laughs> hey, <laughs> big right. spender. I should just put bacon on top. Yeah. Like put your bacon, bacon caps yeah. on it. Yeah. Better. Yeah, delicious. <laughs>